I'm Robert Field, and I am fishing and exploring my way across all 50 states while living in an RV full time. This week, I'm in the White Mountains of Arizona, and we're getting an introduction to this fly angler's paradise from local legend and guide, Cinda Howard. Oh, God! You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. Morning. Yeah. Great to finally meet you. Nice Cinda. Thank you. Yeah. I'm Rob. Brooks. Brooks? This is Brooks. Awesome. Yep. All right, I'm gonna grab my boat. No problem. Thanks. Oh, that's sweet. So we're following Cinda Howard up to, to Big Lake right now, kind of first, our first jaunt up into the White Mountains, up into the National Forest here. It just came across our first clearing, the first break in the trees, and sure enough, heard of about 50 elk grazing out in the middle of this field. We had heard there were elk here. I feel like when you think of Arizona, elk don't come to mind, but apparently there are a ton around. Pretty cool. Throw our stuff in the boat. Figure out what the plan is. This boat is sweet. I didn't really know what to expect. I love this. Thanks. Yeah, it's like, are you gonna get a new boat? I'm like, why would I? <laughs> and this is in case the wind picks up, but it, it seems like the wind is wanting to pick up. <laughs> At this elevation, always. <laughs> you know, I'm from Texas. Oh yeah, oh, we talked about that, yeah. that's right. I moved here and I found all of this public land and I was like, I'm never going back. Never going back. <laughs> it's beautiful here. You know, when you think of Arizona, this is not what comes to mind it's for not. me. It's and, uh, and this is the best kept secret yeah. in fishing, period. He just stepped up here and saw a couple trout, looked like maybe chasing each other. Like maybe they are spawning. He's a pretty good size. Those are spawners. So this is spawning gravel. And you see those two spawners there? They are spawning. There's two there, there's two over there. We're going to get some fish on a stringer today. Yeah, that's a good sign right here at the ramp. Oh, look at her rubbing like that. Wow. Half a dozen fish over 18 inches. Easy. That's what I'm looking at. Wow. Just right here. Jump and push, and then I'll push the rest away. Good. <laughs> what what kind of flies are we doing? Like I've never really fly fished a lake, okay. especially for trout. So we're gonna throw probably some leech patterns and some lots of midges. Okay. Majority of a trout's diet is bugs. And a midge is a bug that hatches all year, and so they pretty get they get pretty tuned in. Even though there's mayflies and caddis and other things here and damsels, they get keyed on that midge because it's there every single day of every single month. Okay, so what we're doing now, we're basically fishing an indicator, which in conventional terms, I mean, it's like a bobber, it's a float, and essentially we're using that to suspend a midge pattern, which we're seeing midge casings all over the top of the water. And basically a midge is an insect that lays its eggs in the water and then they hatch in the water and they come, it comes up to the surface and it flies off and that's kind of its adult stage. But basically we're watching this indicator and Cinda was saying, don't wait for that thing to get taken under. Just if it does anything that looks different than what it's been doing, go ahead and, and lift up and set the hook. And she said, every once in a while, give it just a little twitch because it could be looking at it and sometimes that little, that quick twitch will elicit the strike. And we just watched a guy bring in a, a nice, nice trout and he's fishing the indicator setup just like we got here. So, oh my goodness. And it just, I think I just missed a bite because I'm yapping. It, it, yeah, it didn't go under, but halfway under. So that's, 
Man, now I'm like Hawkeye in this thing. I'm scared to blink. Got him. Oh, nice. Okay. Move your line out of the way. You've got one Sorry. too. You're oh. under, or you were under two, but move your line out. Beautiful, thank you. Fish on, first fish. Let him run. Give him line, yep. It looks, I mean, it's decent, it's not tiny. And he took it down. Good, keep that. Attaboy, Robert. Yeah. First fish on here in Arizona. Oh, oh, running, running. Dang. All over the place. We already saw him, kind of flashed. It's pretty, pretty shallow and really clear water. He's coming at me now. Look at that, screaming outline. Oh, I'm so nervous. My line's a cutter, isn't it? So I am not the most experienced fly angler uh, on the boat, for sure. And so, a little nerve wracking right now. I feel like I'm being a little quiet because this is like all my concentration required. When he sees us in the boat. He's gonna run again, I'll be ready. Man, still. It's nice cold water, they don't give up. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him, yeah. That's, I mean, this is a bigger fish than I, oh no, I'm scared. Is it a rainbow? I think so. I'll that's okay. Like that's a good fish, dude. Yeah, that's a pretty big trout. Like, this is bigger than any fish I thought I was going to catch this trip, and it's the first fish of the trip. So, we've been looking at Apache trout, and, well, six inches is what we've been planning on. And this, uh, it's not that. It's a bigger fish. I might get a, might get a shot here. Maybe. Yeah, nice turn. Because we have anchors. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh-oh. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. Thanks. My guide's saying good job. I don't know <laughs> if she's just being nice or... No, well, it was a good head turn because he could have gone right towards that anchor and he's off. Bill Swinger man here. Got him! Came to Arizona, did not get skunked. Oh man. Yay! Sweet! Cinda, thank you. Good job, good job. Oh man. <laughs> Rainbow trout, which we're out here looking for cutthroat, but not really. Like, I'm here looking for fish. Whatever's gonna eat, especially yeah. big fish like this guy. Yeah. There it is, first fish here in Arizona, not small. Beautiful rainbow trout, put up quite the fight. And uh, yeah, I've not been out here very long at all. So that's that's awesome. Get it back in the water. Right. We are on the board, ladies and gents, here in Arizona. Look at that. There she goes. Sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I'm slimy now. Hey. Awesome. Got him. Fish, oh, fish number two, not as big. No, yeah. It might be a different species. I mean, I'm really here for variety, not for a trophy. Right. But I can't tell what that is. I don't know. Another rainbow? Maybe be a brookie. Oh. 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 Juke the net. Smaller fish, but... Oh. How did I... This little guy's smart. Right. Oh, it's a brook. Is it? Yeah. Yes. That's what I'm really hoping for here is variety. Oh. Oh, beautiful. One of the prettiest trout that swims, if you ask me. Look at this, second fish to hand here, and that is a brook trout. And I mean, to me, that's a pretty big, pretty big brook trout. They don't get huge, and I'm usually catching them in little streams and creeks where they're much smaller. I'm gonna give them a drink. With these trout, you always wanna wet your hands before you handle them. They got, they're very sensitive, they're slime coating. You don't wanna rub that off. And then also, we don't wanna sit here and yap while they're suffocating. We wanna kinda of give them a drink, put them back in the water. And just take them out for very short periods. Trout are very sensitive and we don't wanna we don't wanna hurt this gal. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah. Alright, thank you. 
beautiful brookie, second species here in Arizona, about five minutes apart. Pew! Sweet! Getting them on, getting on them, figuring right. it out. Yay! Thanks to Cinda here, we would be, I don't know what we'd be doing without her right now, but it wouldn't be this, we would not be catching fish. That's great. This huge fish this heron just caught. Man, that's the fish I wouldn't mind catching. Same. That's a huge fish. Wow, so they're up real shallow. Yeah. Look at that. That is a big trout. Jeez. Hey, 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 hey! What are you looking at? That thing was going. Distracted. He swallowed the whole thing? Maybe. I think he did. I think it's in his throat. Wow. Got him. Oh. 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 Whoa. That's a bigger one. Yeah. Bigger than the, that's not a brookie, I don't think. Oh, whoa. Holy crap. Whoa. Fish on. That, that was Brooks's fish that he's missed. That's a pretty good fish. That's a good fish. Fish number three on, and it's a pretty nice one. And we got barbless hooks, so it's you can't let them have any slack. And this thing is running. Oh, wow. wow, all over the place. Whoa. Are you, whoa, whoa. Real, real, real or? Real, or e real, either. Yeah, yeah. When he wants to run, let go of the handle, though. Oh, man, that's a nice trap. This looks bigger than that first one. I think you got for some more runs in it. Oh, my gosh. So Brooks has missed a couple fish in this spot, and... He went to cast the other side of the boat and I cast in there and I got lucky and, and got it on. Looks like another rainbow, maybe? Don't go to that oh, no. Yep, yep, that's right thing to do. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow, wow. <laughs> Look at that! They're getting bigger! <laughs> Sweet! Man, oh, that was a battle there. This fish screamed off some line. And just look at how fat and healthy that rainbow is. Oh, just beautiful. Beautiful fish. Hard, hard fighter. Wow. Look at that. They're getting bigger here with Cinda. That's the second one of the day. We got a brook trout. Came here just looking for some variety to see what we can do. And, and there she goes. That's awesome. Robert's on fire. I'm put I'm sending you back home. <laughs> Beginner's luck. Beginner's luck. I'm in. Yep, there you go. Yeah, that looks like a nice one. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, yeah. Brooks on a good one. Oh, that's a good fish, Brooks. All right, Brooks has missed a few, but he's got this one buttoned for now. He's still got a good run left in him somewhere. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, sure. No doubt. Look at that. Unless it's the one you just caught, he's tired. <laughs> it might be a cutthroat. 
did look a little different to me. Mm, the tail looks different. I was just about to say the tail looks, and I'm, I'm, I'm clueless. It just, it's cut, it's cutting. Oh man, did we just bang out the slam? Just keep it tight, keep the rod high. You're doing great. Nobody get nervous, nobody get nobody, nervous. Nobody panic, nobody panic. <laughs> I'm panicking. <laughs> Act natural. All right, Act natural. Oh, look at this. Look at this. So Brooks has been, he's had some bad luck missing some bites that he, he really had no right to, to miss. But now he might be rewarded with our first potentially cutthroat of the day. Just a beautiful fish in a beautiful place. Oh, can you swing it in towards, oh, nope, nope, nope. Yeah, I feel like I haven't said anything. I'm pretty, I'm like, this? Yeah, just focus, just, let's get it in. Look at that! See that hook to that net dog? <laughs> <laughs> Sweet! So this nice. thing goes where I could get it, man. Yeah. That is a cutthroat. You see that cut under oh, the jaw? Beautiful. So this is that Bonneville cut. Man, that's big. Dude, great <laughs> fish, Brooks. Cinda. Oh, making it happen. Cinda's got us on them. Right. Look at this. Cutthroat, third species of the day. We have slammed. We Arizona officially... slam officially. <laughs> so that's it, huh? That's how you know that little cutthroat. Oh, this is cut. Hey, you got some teeth, buddy. Yeah, I'll say I noticed uh, some teeth in there. That's There's... where they get their name, cutthroat. That is a pretty oh, fish. Come on, buddy. He's still got. Yeah. He's still got a lot of. Uh... Oh. Look at this. Beautiful. You, you think that's 20 inches? Oh yeah. 20 inch cutthroat for Brooksy here. And that's our third species, the slam is complete. Didn't start easy, but got it figured out. Let this beautiful trout go. All right, buddy. We'll see ya. There she goes. There she goes. All right. Woo! Woo! They Woo! themselves and they have a hard time. Nice job. Them. Good job. Here. Got Did, I don't know if they're legal here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage him. Oh, yeah! It's coming out there. Brooks is on. Moved over a little, little bit, little ways away to another spot. And this fish ran right at the boat. Brooks did all he could to keep up with it. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just good to kind of prove up the new, new little spot we got here. I didn't even see him. Smaller fish, but that's all right. We've been catching giant. We kind of set the bar pretty high. Oh, oh. Crashing little rainbow. Little rainbow? We think this is Brooks's first rainbow on the fly. Pretty sweet. Yeah, man. And you got your first cutthroat? Yeah. Knocking them off. Knocking them off. <laughs> sweet. Daddy. Yeah, they, oh, you were right. Even the small ones, just fat, healthy specimen. Oh, that's pretty cool. It is cool, and I mean, this place is like a box of chocolates. You just never know what it's gonna be when it bites. Let's let this little guy go. Beautiful. Nice work, brother. Thanks, man. Pew! Oh. Size does matter, Brooks. Fish on. I was literally turning my GoPros off to restart them, and, and it went under. Fish on. And of course, when you're least expected is when the fish bites. But I mean, just steady, steady action here with Cinda. I'm, I'm hoping this is a cutthroat, which would be my first cutthroat. Brooks got his, and this would complete the slam for me. It's a decent sized fish. Oh, oh, coming at the boat. Yeah, he's digging down. One of the other ones up. Now trying to go under the boat. Oh, <sighs> it is a cutthroat. We got it close, but <laughs> it's not done. Oh, just digging. They're relentless. Much different fight, yeah, between the rainbow and the cutthroat. Oh man. Oh close. Whoa. <laughs> I stopped on that one. I'm like, I'm not gonna knock him off. Man, big fish. Fighters. Got him! That one was nice. <laughs> Whew. Tell you what, guys, these little trout, my wrist is burning. I don't have the uh, the fly fishing muscles. <laughs>
developed quite like I should. Cindy, I'll tell you what, I did not think we were gonna come out here in a couple hours bang out the Arizona trout slam. This could not be <laughs> just like I do. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. That is officially my Arizona trout slam with the cutthroat. Beautiful fish, big fish. Just relentless, relentless fighters. Well, we came out here and Cinda warned us that the conditions have not been ideal. Everything's a little bit later in the season than it's supposed to be. There's still snow melt coming down. Water temps are, are too low. Blah, 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 it doesn't matter. Cinda has put us on them. And here is my Arizona trout slam. This beautiful, healthy cut, oh, pew. <laughs> healthy cutthroat that just swam off. Gave me a little shower on her way off. This is so sweet. Thank you so much for bringing us out here. My pleasure, man. We're killing it. My pleasure. Phew. Good stuff. All right, y'all. Well, the bite was hot and heavy there for a little while. We've picked up one or two fish since then, but the bite's definitely slowed down. The wind has not slowed down. It has only picked up. It's making it really tough. So I think we're actually gonna get out of here. Call it good, little half day session here on Big Lake. We came here hoping for Cinda to show us some variety, meet some of the locals, if you will, and um, mission accomplished. Got the Arizona Slam, our first day fishing here, so. Super sweet, we're gonna motor on back, get back at a decent time. Cinda's got some stuff to do, we've got some stuff to get ready, and we're gonna be fishing plenty more here in Arizona. But just what a killer start to this trip. Couldn't have gone better. Thank you. Yeah, great job. Beep. Beep. Air five. Beep. 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 <laughs> Yep. You know, yep. They're on reds. Look they're them. not going to stick on. Yeah. Look, I just saw three. Stick, they're going to stick four. these reds. There's one right here. Look at them. Oh, yeah. Right where we left. And we're back. Luckily, Cinda's got a uh, trolling motor on this thing because if she had had to row us back into that headwind we just went through, I don't know if we'd make it back for dark. All right. I'm just going to pull that apart by you guys. All right, well, what a great way to kick off this trip, getting introduced to several of the trout species that live around here. Cinda Howard is awesome. She's so knowledgeable. And that was a pretty unique way of fly fishing for trout. I have never done anything like that. And we got it done. So now we're gonna head back to the rig, get cleaned up, get geared up. We gotta charge batteries, all that sort of thing. And tomorrow we're going back out with Cinda Howard, fly fishing, but in a completely different way. We're gonna be hiking in along the East Fork of the Black River, fly fishing a really small river for brown trout and hopefully Apache trout. Apache trout is the mission here and there are some in this stretch. It's maybe not the best place, but we do have a chance at them. So that's the kind of fingers crossed hope for tomorrow, but I know we're gonna get into some brown trout with this gal. She is awesome. So we're gonna go get geared up and we will see you guys in the morning as we hike into what looks like some pretty beautiful country based on the pictures. A great first day out here. Bighorn sheep's one animal when I went through South Dakota that I really wanted to film and just could not find one. And we just stumbled upon about six of them inside the road. Arizona. Yep. <laughs> I didn't even know they were here. Beautiful. Parallels the stream for like seven miles. Mm -hmm. So I kind of thought we would just kind of fish some of this and then jump in and drive down and fish some more. And then you guys can see all the kind of popular areas. And then maybe after that, hike up into the forest or something and do something cool. Sweet. And then are these controlled burns or? No. So this was the Wallow Fire. This was the biggest fire in Arizona history. 2011, right? 2011. I've been seeing the signs. Almost 600,000 acres. It burned almost parts of this entire mountain. Wow. And it's coming back. And, and that slow. changed a lot of just the, I mean, the whole ecosystem, right? It's been different it since then. It's, these fish are super aware of what's going on. And so stealth is the game. Okay. 
And so we want to be behind them. I don't, I really ever fish below me because these fish are looking up. Right, right. And so I always think about trying to get a cast to the fish before they know we're there. Okay. And if you can achieve that, more than likely we'll find some fish today. Okay. Sweet. Got a little purple demon in this one. Yeah, a little uh, flashback pheasant tail with a little purple bead. All right, so Cinda's gonna kind of show us what we're doing here, get a few drifts in. And... Especially bigger browns will definitely sit in faster water because they can. Yeah, they can handle it. And they're gonna get more food. Oh, nice. Take long. More brown trout. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> nice. I think we just had to tell the world we wanted to fish. That's right. So this is a wild Arizona brown trout. That's wild, huh? Wild. They don't stalk any browns up here at all. Oh, they're all wild. Wow. Every brown you're going to catch, especially in a stream, is going to be a wild fish. Wow. And mostly because they really compete with the Apache. Sure. You know, browns are so aggressive, right. so they don't want to stalk them anymore. But these guys have been here since the 60s. Wow. The Europeans brought them over. Browns are from Germany, right. German brown. And they just thrive in our waters. Yeah. They do so well. Okay. There we go. It was worth the hike up here, huh? There we go. Just like that. First little... But you know, as with anywhere else, the farther you get away from the road, the, farther, yeah. the better it's the gonna... better. Yeah. Uh, then as far as which flat did it take the... So he ate the black copper john. Okay. Should I use what you have? Either or? one. I think they're both good. Okay. I think it's just getting them in front of a fish. Yeah. <laughs> good presentation in front of a fish, and you'll know right away, as we did. All righty. Show me how it's done, bud. She made it look so easy. saying like that eddy up under there. Yeah. But it's under that overhang. She was like, if you can drift it along that, that's a great spot. It's gonna be hard to get in there in like second flick. Nailed it. Look at him. Better be lucky than good. It's a mama. <laughs> Big fish, but a fish. Yeah! I did it! I watched him come up and nice. slurp that thing down. Nice. I was not expecting it. I wasn't recording. <laughs> I didn't even think I was gonna be able to get a cast in there. Look at that beautiful brown. That's why he was there. Because he nobody, knew nobody thinks nobody they can get a cast, get a cast in, there. in there. That was the one of the more impressive casts I've made, and I got rewarded. Like how cool is that? Look at that. Beautiful wild brown trout. Plucked him out of this pretty, not, not a very easy run. We got overhangs everywhere and I've been messing these casts up left and right. And then I finally made a good one after a little lesson from her. And there it is. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, yeah, he, he got, he squirmed out of there again. He's good. good got work, it bud. done. Feels good. People are tired for that one. <laughs> hey, y'all ever seen lizards do push ups? Good drift. Okay. And I wouldn't let it go far behind you because everything behind us is very good. That's good. One more. Nice. And then as far as just keeping the slack. The slack. Yeah. Keep the slack out. Don't pull faster than it's drifting. Okay. Good. Oh. I think I saw a flash under that. Really? Yeah.
Ouais. Oh! Man, well, Brooks just hooked a fish, hit the hit the top water hopper, and just kind of shook loose pretty quick. But just prog progress, though, huh, buddy? Hey, yeah, man. I didn't I didn't waylay it, melee it, waylay whoever. I didn't swing for the fences. Yeah, was, you didn't you didn't set it to the moon. That was a step in the right direction. Yep. Just breaking habits, you know. It's just different kind of fishing than you're used to. That's got to feel good, a little confidence boost. Yeah, yep. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, oh, that little pull right there looks so good. There he is. Oh my gosh. There he is. Oh, baby. Come to Papa. You did it. Come you did to it. Papa. Bruce Ooh. got one. He's going nuts. Oh no, not in the tree. Oh. Woo! Got him! Woo! Victory! Oh, and the fly <laughs> came right out there. Yeah, <laughs> even better! <laughs> oh, man. Look at those flies. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my God. Woo! Man, that's like the most hard work for <laughs> eight inch, but like rewarding <laughs> fish of my life. <laughs> Got Thanks. it done. All right. Well, Brooks has worked hard for this fish. <laughs> But there it is. Well, I like that water. There we go. Dude, those are gorgeous. One of the prettier fish that swims, I mean. <laughs> I mean, like, it is not easy with all this stuff. Yeah. And, like, everything where you need to put the, I mean, I know everyone gets it, but it's, it's rewarding and a cool fish. I'll let this guy go. Alrighty, all that work. Here it goes. Just chilling in the eddy. Nice work, bud. Thanks. Shoo. Got it done. I just <laughs> fall in the river and float down. All right, I guess I'll let you catch another one. <laughs> nice work, brother. Thanks. Got time. Wait, stick Ooh. with Ooh. it. Are they? Too. Where are they at? I think they're down you in here. You got them in your waders? Just one though. I don't want to push you over, but your phone's in your pocket. It's fine. All this open space, don't mess it up. Yeah, I'm that when you were fishing. Got him, got him. Oh, 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 he's going downstream. Not going. Good, good. Oh. Reach out, I couldn't see him. That's yeah. why I didn't have him. It's okay, it's him. okay. Can you get him close, just lift. Oh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. You're in control. It doesn't feel that <laughs> way. Oh. 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 You ready? Ooh. Yeah. That's a better fish. Man, why did I get the rod up? <laughs> that is a better fish. Nah, man, good fish, dude. Whew. God, nice. that was a battle there. That was a battle. Yeah. And you know, I missed a small fish that I saw clear as day against the grass. I saw the fish come up and it was small. It was so weird to go, Oops. And then I went right back in there and then that one hit it and it was like very clearly not the same so fish. So you got the small fish out of the I way. I got the small fish out of the way, yeah. just like I planned. Right. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. That's a battle when they get that big. Mm -hmm. In this water, look at that. Oh my gosh. Sure. This fish is fat. She has not missed any meals. Look at this, you guys. More of the caliber brown trout. We're trying to get out of here. Look at the beautiful pink and red spots. Absolute gorgeous specimen. And we have been working hard and the bite seems to have turned on. And that thing took, gave me a run for my money. He was running all of it down the stream, around these rocks. He got around the rock over there. I thought, I thought I lost it. Probably got away with one there, but just incredible. So rewarding and so pretty. 
Look at that tail. Yeah. I love the tail. A pretty big fish considering this little little stream he's living in basically. It's so cool. I'll let this beautiful brown go. What a fun fight. What a uh, fun kind of stalking, hunting for these fish. Phew. And here she goes, look at her, She's sitting right there. I tried to mess it up, but that, when it got around that rock, I was Dude, like, I, oh, there I it is. I was, like, I was like, oh, I'm done, I'm done for. Oh my gosh. See, we were just Victory. Waiting, just waiting for them to turn on a little. Yeah. happy. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't say, hey, let's get out of here, you right? know, yeah. Super, super fun couple of days out here with Cinda Howard. This was a little more technical than on the boat, but she held her hands through both of it. Thank you so much. Oh, you're Danny. welcome. Awesome. So much fun. Why don't you, where, where can people find you, Fly Fish Arizona? So my website is just flyfisharizona.com. Easy. My um, Instagram and Facebook is Fly Fish Arizona. Fly Fish. And if you Google my name, Cinda Howard, you will find more than you ever wanted to learn about me. <laughs> <laughs> She's awesome. It was really cool. She got to take us out on the boat where she could really hold our hands, let us introduce some of the different species here, and then came out here. And it was a bit of a learning curve, but got us on some, some stream trout, some browns. And that's four species now that I've got. We've got the Grand Slam going. You We're going to talk about that some more. But basically, Cinda has now trained us and she is ready to let us fly away from the nest. And now Brooks and I are going to go out on our own and see what we can get into up on here on the mountains. And I can't wait for the feedback. Yeah. As to what happens? It'll probably be we just stumbled and didn't catch anything and we'll be calling you crying. Oh, but. I think I think you're going to do it. You guys did great. It was so much fun. This Thank you. This is tight technical water and you guys pulled it off. It was good. Well, what a beautiful office you've got here. Um, Thank you. Just gorgeous. We're excited to explore some more of it. Good. Yeah. Let's Thanks get again. it. That was awesome. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Send me some I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. I'm pulling up the truck down at the dock. It's time to do some cruising, baby. Get a little stuck. It's a Saturday joyride. ride. First at least is the spot. Feeling fine.